when we read when we read something most of the time i have seen students are reading same page half an hour looking at it if you ask what are you reading i don't know sir mind is elsewhere it happens now how do you control that how can you make your reading more effective have you heard of this formula sq3r bed students they know about it yes education they know about it but you can use it very it's very effective in studying in if any book you are studying textbook or anything write it down s q capital s capital q 3 r r r r s q 3 r what is this how to study how to read a book s means s right we'll give a dash s means survey s u r v e y survey s is survey i will explain what it means survey q stands for question q stands for question questions plural q stands for questions then 3r 3r r r1 is read read r2 is recite r e c i t e recite r3 third r is review or revise anything you can write review or revise revise r1 read r2 recite r3 review or or um, revise what does it mean you see first of all survey normally when we start any book history or commerce or any physics book what we do is we start at the first page chapter 1 first page and then we start reading one after another what is there in the book where we are going we don't know we have no idea in our mind see when you go to a new city when you are visiting a new city what do you do first thing you look at map now it is very easy google maps you see the map here are the important places to visit and then you proceed in the city you will never go into a city and you start walking in the streets here and there you'll get lost and you will not be able to see anything so in the same way when you start a book a chapter you start a book you look at the contents quick look at the contents contents page you look you start a chapter what do you do look at the heading and the pages quickly turn the pages 2 minutes 3 minutes a quick survey what will you look for subheading diagrams charts tables the subheadings which are there key terms which are there very quickly you look at it and 5 10 pages you turn the pages quickly what will happen with this what is the use you will get a chart in your mind a map of the chapter in your mind you will get a map of the chapter in your mind so when you start studying later on all the time you will know where i am in this chapter what is behind me and what is ahead of me you will have a clear idea it's psychologically very important they say in education to have this clear idea of what i am doing where i am survey second questions second questions is there what does it mean normally what we do is when we study a chapter from school onwards we have got this habit we study the chapter we read the chapter then try to solve the questions at the end first we study and then we try to solve the questions at the end but educational psychologists tell us this is completely wrong why is it wrong do you know why people learn when we learn why do we learn what is the motive power behind learning the motive power behind learning is curiosity i want to know curiosity i want to know then we learn unfortunately in school and college why do we learn it is in the syllabus sir that's why we are learning now syllabus do you want to learn you know nothing like that that's why we don't learn also that's why i have lot of effort before examinations after examinations all forgotten again because i never wanted to learn it in the first place now how can you create that sense of curiosity educational psychologists say whatever subject you are, you are studying it may be math physics history commerce whatever first you go to the questions first you go to the questions look at the questions at least 5 10 questions keep them they say write it down or you need not write it down keep it in your mind 
when you start reading what will happen is the questions are in your mind now you are not reading mechanically you are discovering you are seeking the answers you are curious you want to know the answers to those questions so when you are reading then you find oh here is the answer to that question oh here is the answer to that question oh i did not find the answer to the third question you are seeking that's a much more powerful psychological mode of learning than simply turning the pages one after another so question first then study not study first and then question and then third third part is a 3 r after survey and questions it is taking so long to explain it but actually when you do it it is it takes just few minutes then you start reading first is r1 reading how do you read do we have to learn how to read also yes you have to learn how to read active reading there is something called active reading what is active reading don't simply hold the book and stare at it if you stare at it after some time what will happen eyes will go heavy book will fall out of the hand no you keep a pen or a pencil and you mark if it is your own book don't mark library books if it is your own book you mark it important points your own comments in the side what you understood what you did not understand you know some people write a small question mark i did not understand this part i agree with this part one tick mark is there one comment is there i read something like this related in another book so this is called active reading where you underline you comment you take notes that notes you may not read any more again but that notes that those that note taking helps you to concentrate on what you are doing use your hands use your verbalizing skills you read out aloud what you are reading there active reading active reading one of our senior swami swami ranganath anand ji who was the president of ramakrishna math and ramakrishna mission he was a prolific reader where i am we have got the entire collection of his books he passed away few years ago at the age of 98 till the end of his life imagine a 98 year old old man end of his life 10 hours a day he used to study 10 hours a day when he is extremely sick in the intensive care unit of the hospital i have myself seen we had gone to visit him he was very ill just few days before he died reading such a thick book on you will not guess what subject on the connection interface between meditation and neuroscience zen and the brain such a thick book just two days before passing away two three days before passing away he is reading that book and underlining lying in the intensive care unit of the hospital reading the book underlining making comments hand is shaking like this but he is still doing that active reading all his books thousands of books he has given to our library i have seen all of them are marked all of them there are comments everywhere it's written which date he started which date he completed so active reading that is r1 r2 recite after reading one page or two pages don't go further stop mentally you recite not like a poem just mentally recite the main points you may feel i am understanding when you try to recite by covering the book you will find one or two places you have got doubts you don't remember or you don't understand you have to go back there and take a look that is called revise r3 r3 revise so this is sq3r survey question read revise read recite and revise this is just one technique how to improve our thinking our studying skills many other things are there so first thing is